Hi everyone, in this video clip I will be going through a new topic that is on binomial distribution. But in this first video of this topic, I will be first going through the introduction to random variables as well as discrete random variables. Now, what is actually a random variable? A random variable is actually a numerical variable whose value depends on chance. For example, when you throw a die, the number obtained is a random variable. So if you throw a dice, say it's a fair die, for example, okay, if you define x to be the random variable for the score on a die, then my x values will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So basically, a random variable takes number, numerical values, that's why it's called a numerical variance. And it's val whose values depends on the outcome of the experiment. So however, if the values of x are discrete values like this, okay, we call such a random variable a discrete random variable. Now let's take a look at some examples of random variables. You can actually give suggestions like, say you roll a die, say a fair die 10 times okay and we let x to be the random variable for the number of sixes out of 10 throws of the die In that case, x is actually a discrete random variable. Okay? Another example could be that the average number of incoming calls, for example, calls received per hour is 4. And if we let x to be the random variable for the number of incoming calls received in a particular half hour period. Then in that case, we can say that x is also a discrete random variable because it takes values from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, another okay, term that you need to know is this thing called probability distribution. And probability distribution basically describes all the possible outcomes together with the probability of each happening. So that means it's a basically a listing down of all probabilities. Okay? So, as you usually also denote random variables in capital letter, that means the like x, y, or z, and the value of the random variable we will usually denote as small x, small y, and small z. Now let's take a look at the, the example that is at the end of this particular handout. It says a fair dice is tossed once. Find the probability distribution for the score x on a die. So because it's a fair die, we can actually define the probability distribution in a general form. That is the probability x equal k is always 1 over 6, where k takes values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this is what we call a probability distribution because it takes all the probabilities into the account. Okay? So with that, end this particular video clip. And then in the next video clip, we will actually go into the introduction to binomial distribution. Thank you.